fill in the blanks a part we have to write these following in terms of some different terms so 1 lakh could be written as 1 Zero 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 zero. So now we have to think how many ten thousand would one lakh give. So we have ten. Multiply with when we multiply factor of ten with ten thousand, it comes out to be ten times. So ten into one thousand. Adding one more zero is ten ten thousand because five zeros are there in ten thousand. Minus one zero, so it gives you ten ten thousand. Second is one million. One thing has to be noted here is that. One million equals ten lakhs. So let's write ten lakhs first of all. This makes your ten lakhs. Ten lakhs have six zeros. Now hundred thousand. We are separated it. Again, what we are left with is ten. Here ten. Therefore, we will write. Ten hundred thousand makes one million. Then comes C part one crore. So we are writing one crore. This is one crore having seven zeros. Seven zeros. Now we have to cut it in terms of ten lakhs. So that makes your ten lakhs. And further, you are left with a factor of ten. Therefore, one crore equals to ten ten lakhs. Now the D part again one crore. We have seven zeros in one crore as we did in question number C. Six seven. Therefore, one million was again ten lakhs. We will. First, separate ten lakhs out of it. So that gives you ten lakhs. Further, we are left with factor of ten to give you one crore equals to ten million. Now, one million. One million is again ten lakhs, as we did earlier. Therefore, E part. Question two: Place commas correctly and write the numerals. Now we have to. First, write the numerals. Then we have to do commas. So seventy lakh, seventy three lakh, seventy five thousand three hundred seven. So how we will write it as seventy three lakh, seventy five thousand three hundred seven, three hundred seven. That is three o seven. Now we'll place commas according to international, according to Indian standards because lakhs comes in inter Indian standards, not in international. Therefore, we've done it. Now B part nine crore five lakh forty one. First of all, we have to remember one thing that what we are asked for, we are asked in crores that is Indian standard. Therefore nine crore five lakhs. We have to fill tens place of lakhs by zero because only five lakhs are given. Similarly forty one. Therefore thousands would be zero 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 because no thousands are there. So two zeros and followed with forty one hundred part is zero and again forty one. Now, just we have to merely place the commas according to inter Indian standards. That makes your B part nine crore five lakh forty one. Now the C part seven crore again Indian fifty two lakh twenty one thousand three hundred two. So first of all, let's write seven crore. Fifty-two lakh. We've written it. Then two lakh twenty-one thousand. Seven crore fifty-two lakh twenty-one thousand three hundred two.
now placing commas you have to place after hundreds then after lakhs 10 lakhs and after 10 crores d part 58 million 423,202 here it is international remember millions come in international no indian standard here Therefore, we will write 58 million 423,000. It comes directly in terms of international standards. And we have 202. 202 directly. 202. Now placing commas after every three digit in terms of international standards of numerals. So that makes your D part. Last one. Again, Indian. Why? Because we are asked lakhs. So 23 lakh 30,010. So we'll write 23 lakh 30,010. So 30,000 and 100 places nothing because we are only with 10. So we will write 0, 1, 0. Placing commas after 3, 2, and so on. That gives you question number E. And that makes your question number 2. Third, insert commas suitably and write the names according to Indian system numeration. So Indian system has to be used here. Therefore, placing commas after hundreds, then 10 lakhs, and then crores similarly. So let's first of all place commas in all the four questions. That makes our A part. Similarly, in C part, we have after hundreds, then after 10 lakhs, then after 10 crores. Likewise, we'll do for B as well as D. Now, we have to write names. Names would be in word forms. So let's take A part. So first of all, eight. E I G H T. This is crore. Now 75. That would be lakhs. S E V E N T Y. 5 F I V E. Lakh. L A K H. No lakhs. It would be lakh. Then 90. N I N. E T Y. 5 F I V E. That makes a thousand part. So we will write thousand, not thousands. Now, what we are left with? 762. So we will write as S E V E N. 100, not hundreds. 60, S I X T Y. 2, T W O. So likewise, we will do rest of the parts. So, C part, 9 crore 99 lakh 46. You can write it down from here. Then B part, 5. it would be 85 lakh 46,283. We are just doing the same as we did in A part. Now the last part, that is D part, gives you 9 crore 84 lakh 32,700 and 1. We have to write 701. So that makes your question number third for Indian system of numeration. Fourth, insert commas suitably and write the names according to international system of numeration. Now we have to remember placing commas after three digits. That is hundreds and thousands that is hundred thousands and likewise that is the only difference between Indian and international system so placing commas in all the four questions now the second part is we have to write numeration that is in word form names according to international system of numeration therefore the a part 78 million 921,092. This is international system 
of numeration. Likewise, we'll do for C. We are doing it because of the space issues in random order. Now, 99,985,102. You can copy from here. Now, B part, 7,452,283. That makes your B part. And then the last one is D. That is 48,049,831. So we will write 31 because we are left to write it. So T H I R T Y. 1 S O N E. So that makes your question 4.